The governor of New York refuses to step down despite calls from the president and one of his many accusers. Could he be forced out of office? The governor is not willing to hold himself accountable to the facts. Then we have a responsibility to call on Assembly Speaker Carl Heastie to start impeachment. And New York City now becomes the first city to issue a vaccine passport. Could other cities follow suit? And Osama bin Laden, a family man? That was the headline from one of the biggest newspapers in the world. And later, move over Mars, a new major discovery when it comes to the planet Jupiter. All of that and so much more right here on News On. And good afternoon and welcome to this edition of News On. I'm Miranda Khan. Thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday. New York taking center stage today with a number of stories making headlines out of the Empire State, including the very latest on the governor there. Charlotte Bennett, she is one of multiple women who have now accused Andrew Cuomo of sexual harassment. Cuomo forcefully denies the allegations involving 11 women so far and has ignored calls for his resignation. Among those, one of them comes from uh, the president himself, Joe Biden. So will you now call on him to resign given the investigator said the 11 women were credible? I stand by that statement. Are you now calling on him to resign? Yes. And two New York Democrats, U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Kristen Gillibrand are also calling on the governor to resign. We'll get to that a little bit more and we'll also share what his accuser is saying coming up in just minutes from now. Also, New York City making history today for becoming the first city in the U.S. to now require proof of a COVID vaccine to do many activities like dining indoors, visiting gyms, or even participating in other indoor entertainment. We'll get reaction from a fellow New Yorker on that new order in just a minute. Plus, we're going to discuss the odds of other cities following suit with our panel. Meanwhile, you have the Biden administration reportedly now offering COVID vaccines to illegal immigrants who are continuing to cross the border in record numbers. Of course, this comes in response to Mexico now barring the U.S. from returning those migrants and their families back across the border because of worsening COVID cases. And speaking of the border, a federal judge blocking Texas state troopers now from enforcing its governor's order to stop anyone who isn't in law enforcement from transporting migrants along the Texas border. That remains in effect until August 13th. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention now issuing a new temporary moratorium on evictions. So this order, very interesting, set to expire October 3rd. It covers uh, counties experiencing high level of COVID-19 spread. It's estimated that it's going to cover 80% of U.S. counties and about 90% of the population. That is according to a source. We're going to discuss this more with Dr. Wendy Patrick uh, this Friday, our legal expert. Meanwhile, uh, let's talk about the Delta variant. It has reached China's Wuhan, prompting uh, citywide testing there. This is the most uh, that we've seen from the outbreak in months with more than 300 cases detected in more than two dozen cities all across the country. Now joining us to talk more about our top stories of the day, again, all centering around New York, is a fellow New Yorker, CEO and founder of the Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Melissa, good to see you as always. A uh, lot of stories uh, making headlines. Real quickly, your state uh, making history, your city, I should say, making history with this vaccine passport. Uh, you shared an image uh, with our booker, Sonny, and, and it's dead. This is one of the busiest, busiest cities in the world. Exactly. I've taken a bunch of pictures as I've been out and about in the city in the last year and a half of different things that have happened. We, we were boarded up before the election. The city was a mess after the riots. Every time I think the city is going to come back, Something else happens. It's interesting. My father said well, de Blasio is out in a couple of months. That was about a month ago. I said, Dad, that's a long way away. Five months left, and now he even wants to put another dagger 
in businesses in New York City. And it's bad for residents too. Listen, New York City needs a tax revenue from the wealthy base here. They're not gonna come back in the fall if they know that these mandates are in place. And we're not even sure if they're gonna begin with schools reopening full on in-person schools too. New York City will not survive if the businesses cannot thrive. And I'm not sure why they're doing this because about 66% of the New York City residents are vaccinated. What do they want, 100%? This is absolutely absurd. It's going to hurt travel industry, people coming to the cities. The Four Seasons Hotel in Midtown has not reopened, and I highly doubt that they are going to even reopen at this point this year. Broadway also has a mandate yes. for to show it. I mean, this is ridiculous. Why are they doing this? Yeah. What is the point? They've shown that people are getting COVID even after the vaccine, so it's not going to prevent COVID. We have to learn to live with this. People have to take care of themselves. I'd rather wear a mask and have to deal with these mandates. I do want to get to the governor, but real quickly, I want to ask you this. I know you say you love your city. Uh, do you intend on staying there? I got to be honest with you. I'm playing it day by day. I'm playing it day by day, and I'm sure I'm not the only person here. I'm going month to month on my lease right now. I had looked into several other apartments. Let me tell you something. There are people that own multi-million dollar apartments in this city, and they cannot use the gym now without a vaccine in their building. There are going to be lawsuits. I guarantee you that. I'm on the fly here, taking it day by day. I love New York. I said that. The, what really makes me sad is that I put up with all the crap last year living in New York, and now this. I want freedom. You live in this city because you want to be able to go about, and I want to make the own decisions about my body. This vaccine is not FDA approved yet. Why are they mandating this? A uh, lot of good questions, a lot of good points that you raise. And for the viewers that are watching right now, you can always weigh in if you live in New York, whether you visit New York. Love to know your thoughts on that. You can always find me at Real Miranda Con, hashtag share your voice. We're running tight on time, uh, but I do have to real quickly get your reaction to Andrew Cuomo. 11 women now accusing him. One of them, we're going to play that for our viewers coming up after the break, uh, going on camera. Do you think he'll be impeached, yes or no? I definitely don't think he's going to step down. This, this man has a lot of hubris. As far as him being impeached, since Nancy Pelosi came out and Biden yesterday that he should be impeached, I have a feeling it is going to happen. I'm surprised, though. He's, been, he's had a lifelong career in New York State, 10 years as governor. What a way to go out if this is the way it goes out. Yeah, it'll be interesting uh, to see. And Melissa Armo, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure. Thanks. And still ahead on this edition of News On. So you heard what Melissa had to say about some of the stories that are making headlines in her state. Uh, we're going to talk to our bipartisan panel about this. What do they think about this new COVID vaccine passport? And should the governor there, should he step down? He's saying he's not going to do it. 